Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. Today I have my Project Use It Up finale for Q2. Um, I totally missed doing a update about halfway through, so apologies there. Um, but I do have my finale. I did finish some of the items, some of them I did not quite hit my goals. Um, April and May were just kind of weird months for me. I was pretty sick in April. I had the flu and then I got over that and we were traveling and it just kind of threw everything off. Um, but I am still very pleased with what I've been able to move through my beauty stash. I do these because it helps me focus on certain products for, you know, a little bit of time and then I can move on to other things, but I know I'm kind of pushing things out. So let's go ahead and dive into the finale so I can give you all of the updates on the products. I will be filming my um, Q3 intro right after this, so you'll see that video um, up in a couple of days. So um, let's talk through some skincare first. So the first thing I have is my cleansing oil. This is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. It's like a little sample size. I'd say I'm about halfway, so I didn't finish it up. That was the original goal. I did not bring this with me when I traveled. I don't like to travel with like true oils like this. It just tends to get things slimy. So this stayed home when we were, you know, away from home. I had other um, makeup remover products that I used, so this didn't get as much use as it should have. I also honestly have not been wearing a ton of makeup. So at night when I go to wash my face, I don't always need to remove it with an oil. Sometimes I just can go in and wash my face because I don't have makeup on. So anyway, I'm happy with the progress I've made. This will definitely be um, still something I'm working on going forward though. I did finish my cleanser. This is the Aurelia Miracle Cleanser Creamy Balancing Cleanser with Protita. I don't even know how to say the rest of that, but um, this is a cream cleanser. I've realized I just don't really care for cream cleansers, but I did finish this up. It had a pretty strong herbally scent, almost kind of like lavendery, and I really don't like the scent of lavender, so I was just kind of like getting it on, you know, and then wiping it off as fast as I could. It just wasn't for me, but I am glad I finished it up. So this is out of my collection, and I don't need to use it anymore. Um, I also had a moisturizer. This is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. So this was um, from Sephora's birthday gift. It was a nice size moisturizer. Um, so I did finish this all the way up, which I'm really happy with. Um, and it was about time because I needed to switch to a little bit of a lighter weight moisturizer um, just with the season change. So this was great timing. And I also finished up the Laneige um, lip sleeping mask. This was the sample that also came in the Sephora birthday gift. So that is all done in here. Not my favorite lip balm to be honest, but um, you know, I used it up. It served a purpose and it's out of my life now. So for skincare, I think I did pretty decent. Um, I also have the goal to do face masks 12 times. So that would be like about once a week. I did not reach that. I did four face masks in the last quarter. So I definitely need to get back in the habit of that going forward. Um, but again, just was not a normal quarter for me. I just fell out of all of my routines. But um, yeah, let's move into body care next. So um, the first thing I have here is my scrub. This is the Kana Soapworks avocado and sea salt whipped body scrub. This is an Etsy brand that I have found that I really, really love for products. So this is all the way done. It is whipped in the sense that, you know, when you first scoop it out, it's pretty thick and you start to rub it onto your skin, you get the um, scrubbiness and then it foams up into like a body wash. So I like that it's kind of like a two-in-one experience. Um, I have one more of the scrubs um, that I'm going to be working on in the next quarter, and then I'll probably order some more. I just really, really enjoy them. But I have another one done, and this is an awesome, pretty neutral scent. Um, so would definitely recommend this avocado one. Okay, I also have um, the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I use this on my body for rough patches, any sort of acne, and also the KP that I have on my backs of my arms. So I use this after the shower on a cotton round um, to just exploit the area. And then again, if I have any um, like acne coming up on my chest or like my um, shoulders or back, I will use 
this on a cotton round to treat the area and I usually do that about once a day then to kind of like clear up that acne. It works really well. This is like a must have for me. Um, and you know, I didn't finish it up. I still have plenty of product in here. I also don't travel with this, so it didn't really come with me and be used on every single shower and things like that. But, um, you know, I have a decent amount left, but I've used a good amount too. So this is definitely one that you'll keep seeing. It's just kind of something I need to stay in the habit of. I had two lotions I wanted to work on. The first one is the Jergens Natural Glow. Um, so this is the medium to deep. I definitely should have purchased the light to medium. This is too dark for me. Um, I did get a little bit of usage. So I did use this in the spring um, when we went down to New Orleans. That was the first time I really wore like t-shirts and shorts for the season. So it was nice to have this to put on and just have a little bit of color and be a little less um, translucent. <laughs> but the thing is, is that, you know, there's always little areas that get too much or that are too dry of skin. So it can look a little patchy and orangey. Um, I do plan to keep using this throughout the summer. Uh, we haven't even been out on the boat yet once. So, um, once we're out there and have kind of more of a natural color going on, I mean, we wear a ton of sunscreen, but we still get a little bit of color. So then I'll start using this because I think it'll blend a little bit better into like a natural color. And then going forward, yeah, I should just only ever buy the light to medium. This is too deep for me, but you know, I use a little bit. I don't think it's realistic to think that I'll finish it this year. This is just too big of a product for me. And the other lotion I had in this project is my Alba Botanica Very Emollient Body Lotion. So I had just a little bit of this left. Um, here's my marking. I was right here at the beginning of the quarter. So I finished that up pretty quickly. This is one of my favorite lotions for the winter time. Um, I already have another one ready to go for next winter. So I'm not currently using this product, but I really, really love it. So I did finally finish this up and I did write when I opened it. I opened it on December 1st. So it got me through, you know, a good four months worth of use, which is awesome um, because, you know, it can be a little expensive to buy in this size, but then when you divide it out by four months and you're using it daily, you know, it is actually pretty much uh, a good deal. So happy that this is completed though, because I've moved on to lighter weight lotions for the rest of the year. So the other goal I have is to do hair mask. Um, I have two or three different hair masks, I think, right now. Um, and I like to try to do them every other week or so, so that'd be about six times in the quarter. I only did four hair masks, which I'm still actually pretty pleased with. Um, I do notice the difference when I'm, you know, on top of that. I have a purple hair mask to keep, you know, my highlights nice and bright. And then I have a um, deep moisturizing mask that I also alternate in there. So four out of six, you know, it wasn't perfect, but still pretty good for the quarter. So um, that is going to be it for my update here. Like I said, I will be rolling some of these items over and I will have a new set of products for Q3 that I'll be working on and I definitely will do a halfway update. I know that's a lot more fun um, and definitely, you know, be in my groove and my habits. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have done a kind of non makeup project pan similar thing um, lately and how that's been going for you. I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. That's going to be it for me. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.